All right, guys, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's been a while. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for all the support on this series in general. I know that uh, I'm kind of spacing these videos out quite far, it seems like. But thank you guys for sticking with me. Thanks for your patience. I know this game's like 300 hours long, but we'll, we'll get to the end eventually. I promise you. Thanks for the likes. Let's get this. And I feel a thousand times better already. Good gracious. Wow, okay. I said like something's caught in my nose. I don't know what it was. I just, I feel like a million times better right now. So, all right. I was like struggling to speak there for a minute. It's kind of weird. I'm telling you, man, like my allergies, my sinuses, everything just been super congested earlier. Uh, and I take a bunch of medicine, but like it still just happens. Can't really do anything about it. All right, so we have both things done. We're going to go back and speak. And I'm going to guess that we'll get another, like, main quest line after this. It's down here, actually. But yeah, I'm actually excited to see where this goes to. Because I know I can leave here whenever I want and probably come back as well. But at the same time, I'm not trying to rush through this area. But it's giving me some good XP for, like, the main chapters and everything. Which this does feel like one. Such a long way down, it looks like. I'm so... Oh, it's in the cave down there. Hold on. I missed it. I think it's back over, like... Over here. Hop down and go through the bottom. We'll see. I thought, though... Oh, maybe I gotta go to the other side. I, I don't remember exactly the best way to get down there. Unless it's through here. Does this work? Can I go... Can I use this? It looks like it's usable. Hold on. Nice. We made it. I found everything you asked for. How soon can you finish this unbreakable cord? As soon as it wants to be made. You cannot rush this kind of magic. It flows with a speed all its own. Find me as soon as it's ready. By the way, after we spoke of the Hooger, a cousin came by with his own spirit tale. I don't trust coincidence, so this one's free. What did he say? He told me his sister's husband, Borin, drank a mead brewed in Jotunheim, and it sent his Hooger into a goat. The spirit of a dwarf in the body of a goat? <laughs> Stranger still, his sister didn't even notice. Heavy! Don't drag me into this. The tower is nearly finished. Do not fret. The final hours are ticking down. Not fast enough. I feel the jaws of a trap closing upon me. Knowing you are in a trap is the first step to avoiding it. You don't care if I'm married off to this builder, do you? I'm gonna say I value my queen. You are the Queen of Asgard, the host of Folkvanger, the Shepherd of the Slain. Of course I care. Yet you act as if I'm some treasure to be traded about. I was wrong to use you like that. I will confront the Builder and pry the truth out of him. A limp apology, but it will suffice for now. Once the Builder is dealt with, turn your spear on Loki. Every chance he had, he dug us deeper into this mess. If Loki is up to something, I will see to it that he is punished. Blood oath be damned. All right, forging a bond, quest completed. Yo, we're making some serious progress with these quest chains in here. The big finish. Okay. This feels like it's going to be the big one. I don't know. Uh, it's over there. I'm actually going to go back up top. And then probably see if I can power my way over there. Taking a sip of water over here. Yo, look at my foot. Every single time I couldn't find a better spot to have me, like, spawn in at. Why you read that? No, I can't believe how better I feel right now. Okay, I probably should just, yeah, let me, <laughs> let's take the safe way down, shall we? I think the amazing thing about this game is the fact that we're probably not even a fourth of the way through the entire game. It's literally that, that long. It, it's almost impossibly long, you know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know how they put this much content in a game to where it's almost like unfinishable to a lot of people. I, I, what do you guys prefer? Actually, I'm, I'm actually curious what you guys think about this. So you have, wait, am I supposed to teleport? Yeah, let's teleport again. <laughs> um, would you like? Let's say you had a chance to make an Assassin's Creed game that's about the length of Spider-Man. Maybe not Miles Morales Spider-Man, but maybe like the original, like a 15 to 20 hour campaign. A lot of cutscenes, a lot of crazy moments, and then the side quests are kind of like there after the game, basically. Maybe some during it, some after. Would you prefer that kind of Assassin's Creed game? Now, we've gotten some like that in the past. Or do you prefer like this type, where it's open worlds, big sandbox, tons of things to do. The story is kind of like not the main focal point of the game. I don't know which I prefer. I, d I do like quality over quantity. But maybe it's because I'm... I don't know. I like a good story. All right, here we go. Examine the builder's tower. Like what you see? Quite the tower. Hmm? All right, speak to the builder. Yeah, this is really awesome, actually. Not my best work, but it has a certain glow. Now then, where's my queen? You're finished. The tower is functional. One rune remains, which I shall inscribe after I am wet. Who helped you complete the work, Builder? You could not have managed so quickly on your own. Our agreement said nothing about outside help. Now, where is Frey? I tire of waiting. Outside help. Interesting choice of words. Hail, Harvey! Hail, Builder! We bring you your bride! Freya, my beloved! Why does she leer so wickedly? Uh, I'm gonna say... Hmm... I don't know. I'm gonna, I think the middle one might be the best choice here. She starved, Builder. Hungry for you. Eager to consume you like a moist and dainty morsel. Splendid. She'll be pleased to know I have an appetite to match her own. Our union will be a feast of the senses. Enough chatter. We have upheld our end of the bargain. Will you finish your work? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such wild eyes. Why does she look so feral? Uh, I'm gonna say she hasn't slept. She dreams of you. Let's go with the middle one. Asleep or awake, her eyes swim with naught but the image of you. She is blind to all else. Blinded by love or disgust? I do not grasp your meaning. Quit stalling and kiss her, Dungmeat! Consummate your betrothal! Yes, a kiss. A brief taste to whet my appetite. <clears throat> Delicious! Your lips are two <laughs> pillows on a bed of rain-rose petals. And yours are cold and rough as unpolished stone. What trickery is this? Is something wrong? Her voice! It's hideous! I have been told it has a seductive quality. By a wolf. Treachery! Bring me the real fray, or my offer is withdrawn! I'll bring myself, if you don't mind. Freya, you don't need to- You have to... next to nothing, Esir. Only this useless monument to your ineptitude. Ah. Uh... You've been a good boy, Thor. Don't gamble your winnings. <clears throat> and you, Havi. You spoke of sacrifice, but you risked nothing of your own. It was I who shouldered that burden. 
Uh, my actions are justified. The outcome is unwritten. Here we go. You are no one's prize just yet. If this scheme turns sour, I will fight for you till my sinews snap and my bones break. Has this sad spectacle been for my sake alone? I've seen better drama on the festering carcass of a dead pig. Finish your work or suffer. No Freya, no shield. To hell I am with him, Harvey. I know where he keeps his enchanted paint. Show me. Thor, Tyr, watch our guests closely. Freya, I hope we will have words when this is done. Why do you still wear Freya's form? A reminder of who's at stake. Change back. This is disturbing. Where do we go now? I don't know. I didn't say I was watching him every moment. So you do not know where he kept his supplies? They must be nearby. He never left this area. Mostly never. Search for the Builder's Paint. Loki noted activity south of the tower. Oh, wait. Is this not it? Something like this? Hold on. Maybe it's like a trail, basically. Oh, wait, wait! Footprints. Large footprints. Go ahead and grab these, you know. Uh... Take it back. Here we go. Here we go. We have found the worm's lair. Not here to fight Are anybody. The builder's pets. This he place has is heavily taste. guarded. Those runes. I know them. The builder's supplies must be hidden behind this door. Loki, give me a hand. Coming. Wait. Shapeshifters. More deception. The builder will suffer oh, for wow. This. What in the world? Yo, look at- I want the electricity, man. Give me that god of thunder, man. Yeah, it's a crazy weapon. I hope you can get those. Hold, Loki. We need to talk. What is it, Harvey? Loki? Did you know this builder before we met him at Heimdall's tower? Did I know him? As in friends? Or know of him? Did you invite him here? I... I did, yes. He rescued my son from Jotunheim, so I agreed to bring him here and help him find work. That's all. Make this right, Loki, or the blood oath that binds me is forfeit. For you and your son, is that clear? As a cloudless sky, high one. All right, force open. Here we go. More deer. Go ahead. I'll watch your back. That's cold comfort. A quiet cross in his blood. Those gold items are in here. Yes, the chest man. Quiet cross might be best. Let me go ahead and grab this. Loot the chest. Hey, nice. Okay. Loki, slay these shapeshifters. Ghost is kind of crazy. Like, I hope we get a uh... quiet crossing might be best. That's so sick. We gotta carry I these. Paint. Then let us fade like shadows in the light. There's two of them though. Hold on, we're not done yet. Yeah, the enemies in here are really weird as far as like it's like you go to attack them and it like freezes you for a second. I hope so. Let's get the paint and go. A quiet crossing might be best. Can only get one of these. Uh alright. We gotta bring it all the way back to the tower, then come back here to get the other two. Sucks I can't just put more because there's space in here for more. Can I not just I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking too logically right now. 
you know, what I would do in real life. Granted, I, I have a tendency to spill drinks if I carry more than two. On your advice, find some way to hinder his efforts, or I will offer you as his price. I live to serve, Raven Feeder. Let me grab some arrows. No, 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 no. Oh, man, hold on. All right, we're good. We're good! Not quite sure what all this is leading up to, but I'm guessing we got to be getting close to the end of this quest chain or this territory's quest line or whatever it is. Because uh, it's called the Big Finish. And I'm guessing that's what that is since all the characters are here. Stay right there, Builder. We're not finished with you. <clears throat> you survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buri's Ballsack! Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hoover makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well, recent. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas, for protection. You godless worm, slayer of my kin, oath breaker, spirit taker, I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. You thought you could slay my oh kin my without God. punishment or prize? You and your slab had its son? Their lives were the price of their arrogance. Yo, I, I keep doing the the other one by accident. His head's exposed. How do I reach it? All right, let's go. When it's like Dark Souls over here. Let me uh. It's like it creates something. What is this? I don't know what that actually does. Get a better shot at his head from above. Even if I dodge, that doesn't really matter too much. Yo, this is really cool. I don't have any arrows for this. Nice, let's go. Even if I dodge that, I ha I gotta go. Up. I gotta go. Oh my god, what the? Oh no! Damn Kill up! Missed. What is in here? Kind of arrows are just we got light arrows. Yo, what am I supposed to do? Oh my god! Almost. Yo, this is really awesome. But that part, I don't quite know what to do. Come on, let's go. See, I don't know what that just did to me. Maybe I... Oh, I'm getting, like, extra power. It's like a stun mechanic. Oh, no. Uh... You shape the nine worlds, but you do not control them. Control them? I only wish to survive them. What? Oh my god. I'm gonna die here, guys. I'm dead. I have no health. So now I know that, okay, at the start of this fight, I can grab that stuff that he drops. I don't really get desynchronized a lot in this game. It's kind of... 
That's uh, like one of the first few times I've actually seen that. All right, here we go. I gotta be cautious, man. You gotta almost just completely avoid. You gotta completely avoid everything. I walk right into that. As soon as I say that, that's funny. And there are plants on the side, I think. God, I think if I just keep, he's like, I got him in a stunned state. Let's go, baby. Oh, he staggered. Let's go, baby. I got him. It's over, baby. Yo, watch this. Nice. That was crazy. I got him like stun locked almost. Level 90 area. I had a feeling that was going to be tough. And these little plants were here the whole time, too. Is the Yotam dead? And his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've fed it more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cop. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh, you festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <clears throat> Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Lokistan must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own I empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both. Alright, use the gate of Jotunheim. Alright. Surprised I said that, right? So we're not done with this quest. Just that says the big finish. We gotta go back. Oh, we're going over here. Uh, it says wake up. I don't want to do that. Uh, can I... I guess I have to actually go back... Yeah, let me just do this. I'll fast travel here. Have my foot off the edge, and then I'll jump off, you know? And then I'll just run there. I'm really surprised. So, I, here's how I got past that part, by the way. The boss, like, froze up. I, I somehow, uh, the game kind of bugged out. I killed the boss, but nothing happened. What I did is I went and re reloaded another save. And it auto-saved after you beat him, apparently, so I just reloaded that and the cutscene started immediately, so... If it seemed kind of like a weird transition, that's probably why. But I'm just glad that I could get past that, because I was worried. I have heard! <laughs> now, this this does kind of scare me. Imagine if I'm, like, on part 70-something, and all of a sudden I can't go any further. Uh, if I, if I make it that far, that is. These hour-long videos hopefully help. <laughs> Close to the hour long. So what happens is uh, there's a quest later on in the game, I think. Or maybe I've already passed it. Where you, if you, you need to interact with somebody and it doesn't pop up. And I've heard people tell their horror stories of the fact that they can't, uh, they can't go any further. So I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't got there. I don't know what I don't even know what quest it is. So I'm just trying to like not, not get near that at all. 
Where's my... There we go. Like, oh gosh, just for this area. So this should make every... This should be the final part of this area. I would, I would imagine, right? We had the big boss fight. I mean, that, I didn't expect that boss fight at all, by the way. I was kind of, like, taken back. I was, oh, my God. Like, this dude is huge. But uh, it worked out. I do like the fact that we fight, like, mythical-type creatures in this game. And it's, like, not overly crazy. I mean, it's still kind of crazy. But it's, like, it's not that, like, over the top from what I was expecting. You know? Because, like, the last Assassin's Creed game, we had, like, the Cyclopses. We had... Uh... I think that's how you say that. Is it Cyclops? Is it like plural? I don't, I don't know. Might be a, a, like a correct word for it. I don't know. I saw these doors early on. I don't know what's going to happen here, guys. Here we go. Oh, we'll leave Asgard. Okay. The big finish. All right, we're leaving this area. I'm guessing we wake up now. Is that what this basically does? Taking us back to the main area. And we got two skill points to take with us. I'll take it. Nice little fade right there. As far as all the parts of this game so far, I still want to see what happens with, like, the main... The, like, there's, like, a main story in there somewhere, but there's so much side stuff. That feels like the main story, but it's it's technically called the main story, but it's really not. I don't know. Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I have been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. Uh, I saw through Odin's eyes. I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok. The destruction of the world. The end of all time. And the Nornir. They warned me of the great wolf Fenrir. And how he hungered for my blood. But there is something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? Guess we can just go down the list, right? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sighed a wolf cup, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself. But I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned, I felt. I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? Alright, it's everything, I think. There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream is faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared. Alright, end dreams. That's a, that's a quest on a quest. So we get, like, double... Yo, let's get it, man. You know, it's been so long since I've been back here. We got four skill points from that. Going deeper. Hold on. Is there another quest chain from that? Hold on. Let me double check. Uh, okay, so here's what is going on now. Going deeper. What does this say? 
Oh, wow, okay. With one set of dreams explored, it's time to venture into the next. Yo, so you gotta get plants! Uh, entering north of the Dover Cliffs inside a hidden cave. Okay, that's something we can work towards. Wait, is it actually marked on the map? Oh, it is. Going deep. Yo, it's, it shows where it's at. Power suggested 130. Oh, no. Uh, I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> that seems, seems kind of chaotic. All right. There we go. Carrying the torch. It's down over here. Let me, hold on. I got four skill points I need to use. That'll bump me up, I think. Yes, yeah, 77 should be high, high enough, hopefully. We'll see. Range resistance, ability damage, stealth damage, and then emergency aim, which I'm not quite a fan of. Let me get health, range damage. I like these traits right here because they're not tied to anything. Stealth damage, light attack. Yeah, let's get these. The ones attack, like, I guess what I don't like, here's how I would have done this. I would have changed these right here. The way the wolf, because they're basically on one side. So, like, if you zoom out, you'll see, like, what's what. So, like, anything here is going to be for the other one. You know? Because it's like, it's all going to be this one. The way of the bear. As you go there. And anything on this side, it's going to be way of the raven. And I, I guess I wish there was just a way to where these things weren't tied to the side. Because certain abilities, like, if I wanted to get this, but I didn't want to use the wolf subclass. I don't, I call it a subclass. I don't really know what it's actually technically called, but you get the idea. I wish they were separate from this. I think this right here might be really good. I might go for that next. All right, we use all our skill points. We have, basically we're selecting the next area, I guess for the main, main quest chain. The main, main, I like it. Uh, says something's in here, hold on. What is this? Ah, a new letter. Go ahead and check what this is. Uh, let's see. All right, the gods favor us in a cave near Northwick. I glimpsed a legend. Jorn the Berserker, uh, a great white bear walks. Oh, wow. Bjorn Bloodtooth. Berserkers make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strip. I, I don't know why I didn't let that finish. Bjorn Bloodtooth. Berserkers make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strength would bolster our settlement. I should seek him out. This is a whole other one. Okay, the gods curse us a Saxon. Claims it wanders the countryside slaughtering livestock. Whatever this beast or monster, defeating it would only add to my reputation. I should meet this abbess, Wolf Hilda. I guess you sit down and have, have a drink if you want. I don't know. I'm about to go in there. I just wanted to see what these notes say. Because it was like two or three more. Yeah, let's check these out. I wish I could just grab them all out at once. Uh, have a look from time to time. I'll grab all these out really quick. Might as well, right? All right. Uh, let's see. Sail Wolf. Ivor. Okay. Settled nicely into this new role. My court is behind me, and I have people's loyalty for the first time in a long time. Mercia is stable. It's all thanks to you. Nice. Glad that person lived, by the way. <laughs> that would have been so weird. After all that. You did more than that. You helped me reclaim what I have lost to myself today. My people, my city, they are stronger than I So you get notes from the other quests you've done. That's really cool. Um, I would talk to them, but I kind of want to just, let me, hold on. We got this over here that says it's like, it says carrying the torch, but should I also select the next area I'm going to really quick? Because I can't do anything you. main until I do this. Kiss her, invite her to the bed. Oh, wow. You can actually, well, you can break up. What in the world? Uh... I don't know. I kind of, I was just going for the map. I guess I'll do this one and see what happens. Come to me. 
I don't know. It's like... We did do, like, the horse ride with her a while back. Was it, like, a video ago? I don't know how many videos back that was, by the way. Okay, so you can just do that whenever. I okay, it doesn't actually the change anything. Map. I don't know if it's, like, Silent Hill 2 where you need to look at the picture a lot, you know? <laughs> uh, ooh. We should probably do this one. So here's how, like, the main quests seem to be working. We've done these three. And then, yeah, we can't do that yet. Well, we, we probably could, but we don't need to. Let's do these two first. Uh, let's get this one. Let's start from the bottom. Asked that I traveled to London. What do you know of it? A wild city. One that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asks that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. Alright, now a pledge? We might as well, right? The way you beat the game is you got a pledge to all of them anyways. Our walls and shadows. Good. I await your return. All right, so this is gonna bring up this next quest area. I've already read that. I'm pretty sure. Um, I did want to go do this other thing though. So rather than going there first, we have carrying the torch, which I don't quite know what this is gonna bring up. I wanted to check this out really quick. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the long videos. I've been kind of just, I wouldn't say taking my time with this game, but I'm not rushing the uploads either. I think that, uh, I think that if I was to, like, try to do that, I don't, I feel like it'd make for bad videos if I'm like, oh, let's hurry up and finish this game. Like, it's not, I didn't have the same feel. So, I just been kind of taking my time. But I make the parts long, there too, so. So much we were So they. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty, not like in our stories. Uh, I'm gonna say what stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. This was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know that you're valued. Alright, that was a quick quest. Do we even get... Did we get XP for that? I saw it complete. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it didn't actually complete. Um, alright. Here's the thing. There are apparently... Mythical creatures in this game. Like in the last game, in, in Odyssey, you fought Medusa. You know, that was a crazy boss fight, by the way. I'm guessing some of these things are like, kind of like those. 
The Legend of Beowulf. Way of the Berserker. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to do some of these other things, but this is what I'm most interested in. I'm not going to lie, guys. As far as the game goes, this is what I'm most excited for. But I know that what I need to do first is level up my character. And I don't really need to go back there yet until... I don't know. Until I level up a little bit more. Because I think the next... To get to that next spot, it's like all the way down here. It was like 130 to go there. Now, I could just say, the hell with it. Just run past there, get all the synchronization points, go go there and do that. Then head back. But I might space that out too a little bit. Because this is what actually progresses the story. And I think that's supposed to be more of a side thing. Let me see how many materials I actually have. I have 200 supplies and 110 raw materials. Man, I need supplies so bad. Always hurting for supplies in this game. Always. It's funny. I don't know if we've been an hour yet. I'm trying to keep them all about the same length. But I can at least get this quest started. And see what it has to offer. I'm guessing... Oh, it's right down here. Yo, okay. I, I think getting there might be the way it has to... In the video, I don't know. We'll see. I'll fast travel here and then I'll keep going down and see if I can get a little bit further <laughs> further into this. We'll see. I'm very surprised that this game has as much content as I have seen so far with it. Granted, a lot of it, you know, some of it might feel a little filler. Like, I I don't feel like the Thor and uh, you know that like the Asgard story storyline is not filler at all. I actually enjoy that. Uh, and then the like the quests themselves, it's like several or dozens of mini stories wrapped into one. But then there's like the overall story. What we got here? Just some loot. I'll take. It. If we're going all the way over here, I really need to. Uh, should I go like this way and then there? Because I don't have a fast travel point. That's that's. Man, 160. 160. It doesn't... It seems like it's out of the way, but it's really not. Yo, my horse is so sick. Yeah. Alright, let's go over here and get this synchronization point, then I'll head over there. You know, it's funny, when uh, when this game first came out... Oh, I, it's back when I was playing Ghost of Tsushima. Or actually, some people call it Ghost of... Tsushima. <laughs> I guess I, I... Everybody's got their own way to say it. Uh, but anyways, I was playing that when this first was like being announced and I felt like Ghost of Tsushima looked a lot better. But ever yeah. since I've been playing this on next gen, I've actually gone back and forth. Both games look really good. At least on the PS5, that's kind of what like the only way I can compare that because Ghost is only on uh, you know, the PlayStation. So... I just wish that, like, I mean, I, I want to swap over to the Series X just to try it out, but I'm also scared to, like, because, like, here's, here's the thing. If I'm getting trophies in this game and I switch, I don't think it unlocks the achievements on Xbox, but it'll unlock the future ones I do. Now, these enemies are one whatever, so I need to be Something's way wrong. away from them. Foul. Cursed. I don't need this fast travel point, but I felt like I might as well go get it. Even if it's like the last part of the video, I just want to get it done. This, and then I'll head over there and at least interact with some people to get this next quest started. I'm just very surprised by like how much the last few sections of this game have been really good. Because we had the, the storyline where the king wasn't, you know, he's kind of cowardly, then he stepped up at the end. And everything worked out, you know. And we were there to like to, to like assist with all that. We got the good ending for that one too. Each quest has like its own ending. Now the one where I had to pick who is like, I guess the intruder <laughs> or the Im imposter, if you would. I think I made the the bad choice on that one, but I think ultimately that's what makes this game good. Is it's like there's choices for everything. Oh, no, what was this person going for? Why the wailing? We are a band of bards ahead of our time, musical prodigies even. But that madman, the self-proclaimed Bishop of the Ruins, is our biggest critic. He calls our playing the Devil's Bagpipes. That strange instrument made of bladder and bone. It does wheeze like an old woman. 
He drives away our audience with his doom knelling. All we want is to bring a little joy to this jilted generation. A worthy aim. Maybe he needs convincing of your talents. You would volunteer? Ah, oh, you are a lover of fine music. This is surely an omen. Why does that dude's hair look like that? It's so funny. Like he got struck by lightning or something. He's just sitting there getting the hair is straight up. All right, let's get this and get back to what we're doing. Stay on track here. So yeah, thank you guys for your patience on this series. I know that it's been a... You know, here's the funny thing. It might be not as many parts as I'm thinking in the end. I still want to finish it, but it's like, it's more of a, a I don't know. I don't know how to really describe it. The series itself might not be as long, but after I stop doing like the half hour parts, I think then it kind of bumped up a lot because it's like, uh, I feel like the longer videos are more enjoyable because you have more time to kind of get sunk into the game. Versus playing it for half an hour and stopping. I just, there's no way I can do that with this game. Once I saw the length of this thing, I was all right. We're going to have to just wait and see how this goes. All right, now we're going down to the right spot. We're going to cross paths with this raid, which I would love to do, but I'm not 160 at all. But here's what's weird. In raids, I don't think it really matters. Because, think about this. The enemies will hit harder. I'll die in a fewer hits. But I can keep retrying, and ultimately how you end a raid is to collect everything. And maybe some of the rooms are guarded by high-level enemies, and I could... But you have a, you have assistance, though. I'm tempted to try it down the road. I just want to see what, like, a 160 content type thing is versus a level 90 thing, you know? Like, how, how much of a difference is the... Is the Damage gap and all this other stuff. Because I really don't know. There's a question mark here somewhere. I, I read something online. This might not be true, but I heard that, like, uh, this game. Hold on, what is the question mark? Oh, it's a person. I'm not going to talk to them right now. We're good. But I can't. Hold on, let me let my horse stamina go back up a little bit. Oh, it takes that long? Okay, now it's now it's going up. There we go. I don't want to go across here in case I... I don't remember how much it actually drains when you're crossing a, a lake or river, whatever this is. But I read that the game itself runs like it would on a... Uh, like a really high-end graphics card on PC. So I don't know. I think it's... I mean, definitely plays good. I have not played this on PC yet. I didn't play any of the other ones on PC either. I just felt like, hey, this is still still just as good. 60 frames, I'll take it. All right, we finally made it. So let's uh, let's at least get this started. At least talk to the first person. Then that might wrap it up for now. Oh, I still like. Got to go further. City of War. Okay. Attack on sight here. Now, this isn't... I don't think I have to do this area. I think the actual quest is, like, over there. I think this is just next to it. Now, I assassinated this guy. I wonder what the power level is for this. It's got to be, like, the same, right? Okay, this is just where... Yeah, it's 90. Okay. Ubisoft uh, Connect XP Earn. Okay. I just don't know how the Ubisoft Club things work. Like, I know you get rewards in different games, but a lot of the items that I want to get are, like, locked behind... Oh, you had to go to some event overseas or something. You know, so I don't really understand. It. The Cripple Gate of London. I beg patience, all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? Hey, your love. Hey, bear our master, Ame. You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> it can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this burr? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. 
Good and Fair Dane come to London four years back. Trigger. Hey, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with old manor and Avery. Stow! Avgos wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We're talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgos wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> And if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! Man, she punched the crap out of the guy. Oh god. To kill anyone, eh? Hit him with that combo. Well, your face is a skull capstone. Woo, let's go. We should do it. Watch your head there. I God in heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, is that it? I'll have dealings with any who can deliver a fair friendship with my Raven Clan. If that's you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stow's my name. Stow of Lunden. You're a brilliant fighter. I'm just to say good to meet you. It's good to meet you, Reeve Stow. London sits on sturdy shoulders. Uh, to be fair, I'm not the only Reeve. There are two of us now, and the governor to boot. We do our best in these times, wild as they are. Take me to your governor, Stow. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. All right, follow Stowe. What can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Eivor. You're a worthy ally. Hmm. I was actually going to stop after that fight, so but this, if is, this is just a follow thing. A city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Lundinwich. I was Saxon Bura, just past the Western Walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the ear. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? Looks like a crime scene, baby. God, no. No, no, no. It took three arrows to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. O oh Lord, deliver these men with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You've no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. 
You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, though. It can't go on like... like this. Um... It's a serious attack. Were they after you as well? Now that's a fine question, isn't it? You must be Erke, London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reeve? First in the Eastborough, and a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. She came to meet with Triga, to seal the bonds of friendship with the clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? I must have been known to... This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erke, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of free such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Alright, as a first clue, let's see what else we got. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this burg. Okay. Gonna loot some chests really quick, let's go. from a mistress. Sorry. Mistresses? Intriga's desk? Ah, oh, yes. The old man had a wandering hand. And I... I didn't know. I didn't think. He didn't want you to. It was his secret to keep. Three sets of footprints leave. Two average, and one massive. Or if it goes outside at all. No. A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. Let's see if there's another thing. Uh, we got those two, the thing up there. Hold on. I just some loot, never mind. Hold on, let's see. I can't make head or foot of all this. I just... Look at us, sitting on our laurels while Eivor does all the work. I guess it's not out here. I got a tooth just now. Interesting. So what are we missing? Nothing there. Maybe it's through here. Let's see. Can you break this? No. Oh, it goes all the way up. I can't even see where I'm at right now. There we go, here we go. Can I not go up? I'm trying like pressing up, there we go. I do not envy this man's death. Hang on, there's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal. No, it looks Roman in origin. Must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this god for him to grasp it, even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat, probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't make it. A second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attacker took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This kill was a message. Their footprints leave together. Three sets heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by monikers. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baldersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise until we know more. 
The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The elites hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic Temple. I passed it on the way here. Uh, I'm gonna say... I'll investigate this there. This temple is our only strong lead. I would like to see it. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? All right, I'm gonna stop here for now. I know this is gonna keep on going and going, so I I actually hadn't planned on doing this quest in this video, so kind of works uh, out. Well, All right. Now the locals have caught a whiff of this fatted mess. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the <laughs> east of here. Oh, does this say, if it's just right over here, I'll just go ahead and finish it, but let me see. I don't like to leave in the middle of a story quest, but... Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet atop London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. Hmm. Okay, the area. Bench right there didn't really make sense. Oh, I bet you it's like an underground type thing. Yeah, I'll just do this when I come back next time. All right, guys, I love you. Best audience ever. It's really dark right here. Hold on, let me stay next to this. Hope I don't catch fire. Take it easy, guys.